Welcome to another enriching episode on Stoic in Your Life, where we explore how silence speaks volumes and action becomes the most eloquent speech. As the ancient philosopher Epictetus once said, Well done is better than well said. Today we dive into the heart of Stoic wisdom with our discussion on how to show your loved one, your worth without saying a word and nine effective formulas for transforming your life. This video is designed to guide you through the subtle yet powerful ways to express your value and transform your personal growth, all without uttering a single word. As we explore these techniques, remember that each small change you implement can lead to significant transformations in your life and relationships. Remember, in the world of Stoic practice, it's not just about learning, it's about applying. So let's get started and see how these ancient principles can be applied in modern times for personal growth and happiness. One, know your worth. Understanding your worth is not just about feeling good about yourself. It's about recognizing and embracing your intrinsic value, a concept deeply rooted in Stoicism. The Stoics emphasized focusing on what we can control, and fortunately, your perception of your own worth is entirely within your realm of influence. It isn't dictated by external validations like social media popularity or others' opinions. Rather, it's grounded in how you view and appreciate yourself. Consider yourself akin to a rare gemstone. Its value isn't diminished because someone fails to recognize its worth. Similarly, your value doesn't wane just because it goes unnoticed. We've all faced rejection or felt inadequate at times, particularly in today's digital age where it appears everyone is leading a perfect life. However, Stoicism teaches us that your worth is not tied to someone else's approval but to your virtues and actions. Ask yourself, are you kind? Honest? Do you live a life that you're proud of? Reflect on your deeper qualities, your compassion, resilience, and ability to listen. These are the true measures of your worth. When you truly understand and embrace this concept, it profoundly changes how you engage in relationships. You no longer tolerate disrespect, not out of arrogance, but from a deep-seated respect for yourself. If you ever feel undervalued rather than succumbing to self-doubt, reflect on the virtues you bring to the table. This isn't about boasting. It's about internally affirming your worth, independent of external validation. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic emperor, famously said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This principle is vital in relationships, finding strength in your own self-worth, regardless of others' recognition. Remember, recognizing your worth isn't an occasional affirmation, it's a continuous journey and practice. Each day, remind yourself of your value, not because of what others think, but because of who you are at your core. Now consider this scenario. You're at a family gathering and a relative makes a disparaging comment about your career choice. Instead of reacting defensively, you calmly acknowledge their perspective without feeling diminished. Your calm, collected response showcases your self-worth and demonstrates that your value isn't contingent on their approval. How would you handle a similar situation? Reflecting on such instances can help reinforce your understanding of your inherent worth and how you apply Stoic principles in everyday interactions. Understanding your worth is foundational to navigating life's challenges with grace and fortitude. It's about waking up each day and reminding yourself of your value, crafted by your virtues and actions, not the fleeting opinions of others. This Stoic practice not only enriches your life, but also empowers you to contribute positively to your relationships and the wider community. How will you start to recognize and affirm your worth today? 2. Present yourself with dignity. Imagine a scene where you walk into a room and without saying a single word you convey your worth, your values, and your essence. How, you might ask, can one achieve such a powerful presence? This, dear listeners, is where the timeless wisdom of Stoicism illuminates our path. Stoicism teaches us not merely to manage our emotions, but to channel them in a way that aligns with our deepest values. 
It's about discerning where to invest our energy and, importantly, where not to. Let's delve deeper into what it means to present oneself with dignity, especially in the realm of personal relationships. Often, in our attempts to garner approval, we lose ourselves by trying to mold into what we think others desire. We dress a certain way, adopt new mannerisms, frequent places that may not resonate with our true selves, all in the quest for acceptance. However, Stoic wisdom urges us to look beyond these superficial layers. As Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once remarked, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Dignity, therefore, is not encapsulated by external appearances, but is rooted in how we uphold ourselves through our actions and choices. Consider a scenario where two individuals are on a date at a local coffee shop. One is ostentatiously dressed, radiating an air of desperation to impress while the other exudes a calm, unpretentious confidence. It is invariably the latter who leaves a more lasting, genuine impression. This exemplifies the stoic ideal of living with integrity and self-respect. In today's dating world, this translates into being unapologetically yourself. If your heart lies in literature, embrace your inner bibliophile without reservation. If you're passionate about environmental causes, let that enthusiasm show. Authenticity is about being comfortable in your own skin and recognizing that your intrinsic value does not hinge on others' approval. Furthermore, the manner in which we treat ourselves sets a precedent for how we are treated by others. Epictetus, another revered Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This is profoundly true in relationships. The essence lies not in the superficialities of appearance or speech, but in our reactions and how we maintain our composure and dignity in various situations. Do you respond to challenges with grace, or do you compromise your values under pressure? This reflection leads us to an important consideration. How can we start to present ourselves with more dignity in our everyday lives? It might begin with setting clear personal boundaries or learning to decline requests that do not align with our values. Or perhaps it involves treating ourselves with a greater degree of kindness and respect. When you start to view yourself as someone deserving of respect, you'll find the world begins to reflect that belief back to you. So, I pose this question to you. What are some ways you can start to treat yourself with the dignity you deserve? How can you make small changes in your daily life to align more closely with the stoic ideal of living with integrity and self-respect? Remember, the journey to embodying stoic principles is not about attaining perfection, but about striving for personal growth and understanding through every step of life's voyage. By embracing stoicism, you harness the power to present yourself as someone of worth, dignity, and immense value, all without uttering a single word. 3. Limit Access In today's fast-paced world, where instant gratification often dictates our actions, there's a profound, almost counterintuitive wisdom in the Stoic principle of limiting access. This concept, while it may initially sound a bit old-school or strict, is fundamentally about self-respect and recognizing your worth. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that emphasizes self-discipline and control, teaches us to appreciate what is truly valuable and to share it judiciously, not carelessly. Consider the typical rush in relationships or dating scenarios where there's a push to share everything rapidly, our time, our spaces, our deepest secrets. However, the Stoics counsel a more measured approach. They remind us that anything too readily available often loses its luster. It's human nature to yearn for what seems just out of reach. If you are perpetually available, always acquiescing to others' demands, what becomes of your mystery, your depth, your allure? Seneca, a venerated Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This echoes profoundly in how we present ourselves. Dressing elegantly yet modestly is not merely a sartorial choice, it is a declaration of self-worth. You are not concealing your identity, but you are also not displaying your entirety for all to see. 
This balance communicates that you are more than what meets the eye. Moreover, in our era of constant connectivity, choosing judiciously who merits your time can be a powerful testament to your self-value. It isn't about game playing. It's a statement that your time is precious, and you opt to allocate it wisely. When present with someone, give them the entirety of your attention. Be fully engaged. Yet, when apart, feel empowered to focus on your own life, your passions, and your personal growth. Emotional self-control, another stoic virtue, does not imply emotional detachment. Rather, it involves not letting every minor event disrupt your inner peace. It's about conserving your emotional energy for those who merit it, just as one conserves physical strength. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic luminary, advised, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Adopting a Stoic demeanor doesn't mean transforming into an unfeeling statue. After all, we are all human, and it is our connections with others that enrich our lives. Yet, there is undeniable beauty in moderation. In building a relationship that values depth over immediacy, limiting access is not about manipulation or playing games. It's about honoring your own values and manifesting them in actions, not just words. It's about demonstrating, through your choices and demeanor, that you are a person of value who deserves the same in return. So, raise a glass to the art of selectivity, to maintaining a composed and thoughtful presence in our relationships. It is about striking the perfect balance between openness and discernment, between sharing oneself and maintaining a bit of reserve. Trust me, this approach can dramatically transform how you are perceived and treated. Here's to valuing ourselves and embracing a bit of the stoic wisdom in our contemporary quest for meaningful connections. Cheers to that, my friends, as we navigate the complex interplay of modern relationships with ancient wisdom guiding our journey. 4. Show Don't Tell Boundaries In the realm of Stoicism, there is a profound emphasis on demonstrating virtue through actions rather than merely articulating it with words. This concept is vividly applicable when we discuss setting boundaries in our relationships. The ancient Stoics championed the adage, oh, show me, don't tell me a timeless principle that resonates deeply in the way we manage our personal interactions. Picture this. Anyone can assert, I will not tolerate disrespect, but the true test surfaces when confronted with disrespect. Do you waver, or do you uphold your declared boundary steadfastly? This distinction underlines where your true strength resides. It's embedded in your actions, not just your declarations. Handling these situations is seldom straightforward, particularly when emotions entangle. However, as our Stoic predecessors have imparted, we possess the autonomy to choose our responses to any circumstance. For example, if you have underscored the importance of honesty and someone deceives you, your reaction is a powerful testament to your commitment to your boundaries. Choosing to walk away or to address the falsehood directly and serenely illustrates that you take your boundaries seriously not out of a desire for conflict, but from a place of self-respect and alignment with your values. This steadfast approach can significantly transform relationship dynamics. Observing that you not only establish boundaries, but also actively enforce them, helps others understand your limits and expectations. This cultivation of self-respect and consistency is essential. Moreover, Embracing a stoic mindset transcends the more apparent, substantial issues. It encompasses daily, seemingly minor boundary settings as well. How do you react when someone cancels plans at the last minute or when you feel taken for granted? Do you dismiss it or do you assert through both your actions and your calm demeanor that this behavior is unacceptable? Here the stoic practice of mindfulness becomes invaluable. Being present and conscious of how you react in these moments reveals whether your actions mirror your boundaries and whether you are staying true to your core self. It's crucial to remain vigilant about these smaller moments because they often present the most frequent tests of our boundaries. Let's consider a modern-day scenario. Imagine you're at work and a colleague consistently oversteps your time boundaries, assuming you'll stay late because you have before. 
instead of letting resentment build or capitulating again, you decide to clearly communicate your schedule limits moving forward. This action not only reinforces your boundary but also signals to others that your time is valuable and that you respect yourself enough to protect it. So as we navigate our daily interactions, why not adopt a more stoic approach to how we enforce our boundaries? It's not about rigidity or being inflexible, it's about guiding your reactions with an internal compass that is unwavering in its direction. Trust that living in such a manner will not go unnoticed. Others will begin to recognize you as someone who not only establishes boundaries but respects themselves enough to maintain them diligently. As you reflect on this, ask yourself, are the boundaries I set being communicated more by my actions than by my words? How consistent am I in upholding these standards, especially in smaller, everyday interactions? The essence of Stoicism isn't just found in enduring adversity or controlling our reactions. It's also vividly reflected in how we maintain our personal integrity in everyday life. Here lies the profound lesson. In the quiet strength of our consistent actions, we find the loudest voice for our values. 5. Be ready to walk away. As we explore the Stoic principle of detachment, it's important to understand that it's not about being indifferent or unfeeling. Instead, it embodies a profound recognition of the aspects of our lives we can influence versus those we cannot. This concept becomes particularly transformative when applied to personal relationships. Imagine this scenario. You find yourself in a partnership where deep down you feel, this isn't what I deserve. Yet, you stay, possibly out of fear of loneliness, fear of change, or hope that circumstances will improve. However, Stoicism introduces a powerful twist here. True empowerment stems from acknowledging that our decision to stay in a less than ideal situation is a choice within our control, and we can choose differently. This doesn't suggest that you should abandon ship at the first hint of trouble. Relationships require effort, compromise, and endurance. But it's about aligning so closely with your values that when you encounter a fundamental mismatch, you're prepared to step back. It's cultivating the inner strength and stoic resilience to declare, I value myself too much to settle for less than I deserve. What does it truly mean to be ready to walk away? It's a testament to self-respect, a refusal to compromise your core values and self-worth for the sake of staying. Often, this decision doesn't need to be a dramatic confrontation. It could be a quiet, firm realization that a situation is not suited for you. Yes, facing the unknown is daunting. The unfamiliar often is. But as the Stoics taught us, embracing adversity with courage and accepting the natural ebb and flow of life is part of our human experience. Consider the shift this mindset can bring to your relationships. When you stay in a relationship from a place of choice, rather than necessity or fear, it fundamentally changes the dynamics. You are there not because you need to be, but because you choose to be, aligning with your values. And here's the profound part. When you possess the courage to leave situations that do not benefit you, you open the door to new possibilities. It's akin to clearing out the old to welcome the new. Trust that there's something greater waiting for you and give yourself the opportunity to find it. So let's reflect over our coffee. Being ready to walk away isn't about detachment in the cold sense. It's about nurturing self-love and respect enough to recognize I deserve better. It's about being steadfastly stoic in adversity, knowing your worth isn't tied to another person or any external situation. How might this perspective change the way you view your relationships? Could this understanding empower you to make choices that better reflect your worth and values? These questions aren't just theoretical. They're practical and deeply personal, and your reflections on them can profoundly impact how you navigate life's complexities. 6. Focus on action, not words. In the philosophical landscape of Stoicism, we find ourselves guided not by fleeting expressions, but by the enduring evidence of actions. This wisdom, originating from the ancient Stoic thinkers, is particularly crucial in the realm of personal relationships where words often drift like leaves in the wind, unanchored by deeds. 
Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once asserted, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. In this spirit we explore the essential Stoic principle. Judge by actions, not words. Imagine entering the theater of relationships armed with this Stoic wisdom. Here promises can be as enchanting as a siren's song and yet, just as perilous if unaccompanied by action. The world is rife with charming commitments that dissolve at the touch of reality. Stoicism teaches us to anchor our perceptions in the solid ground of observed behavior rather than the shifting sands of spoken intentions. It urges us to discern the genuine from the superficial, recognizing the true value and character are manifested through consistent actions, not merely convincing dialogue. Consider a common scenario. You meet someone who captivates you with beautiful visions of commitment and shared futures. Initially, you're swept up in the excitement of it all. However, as time unfolds, you notice a disconnect. Calls, promised but not made, plans consistently canceled. In these moments, your inner stoic should emerge as your guide, helping you recognize these discrepancies, not as minor flaws, but as clear indicators of underlying values and reliability. Stoicism doesn't instruct us to dim our emotional responses, but to view them through the lens of rationality, ensuring our reactions are grounded in reality, not lost in romanticized potential. Adopting this approach transforms how you navigate the waters of relationships. You begin to value the quiet evidence of loyalty and integrity over grand declarations. This shift not only alters what you expect from others, but also refines how others perceive and interact with you. By emphasizing actions over words, you communicate that your commitment must be earned through tangible evidence of care, respect, and consistency, not just through pleasant conversation. This stance naturally elevates the caliber of your relationships as it invites a more profound, authentic connection grounded in mutual respect and genuine affection. However, Embracing this philosophy does not entail a hardened cynicism towards others, but fosters a protective realism about human interactions. It's about safeguarding your emotional well-being with a shield of stoic insight, staying vigilant against the intoxication of eloquent words that lack the backbone of action. As we reflect on these teachings over a morning coffee, let us remind ourselves to observe more keenly, listen more thoughtfully, and judge more wisely. In the realm of relationships as in life, actions resonate more profoundly than any word spoken. Let us stride forward as Stoics in love, rational, observant, and discerningly wise, always mindful that in the end, actions will indeed speak louder than words. Through this lens, Stoicism not only serves as a philosophical guide, but as a practical toolkit for fostering relationships that are not only enduring and resilient, but also deeply rewarding. As we navigate the complexities of modern relationships, let this ancient wisdom illuminate our path, ensuring that our connections are built on a foundation as steadfast as the philosophy that guides use. In this way, Stoicism transcends time, offering timeless strategies that empower us to lead lives of profound meaning and connection. 7. Healthy Skepticism Healthy skepticism, particularly in the realm of Stoicism, is not merely a defensive mechanism. It's a form of wisdom. The Stoics championed the art of perception, urging us to see things as they are, rather than as we might wish them to be. This approach is especially pertinent when navigating the unpredictable terrain of love and relationships. Have you ever found yourself swept up by someone's charm, only to realize too late that you had ignored several warning signs? That's where Stoic skepticism steps in. It's not about pessimism. Rather, it's about maintaining a grounded perspective, taking things as they come, and not accepting everything at face value. Imagine meeting someone new who seems perfect. They whisper sweet nothings, sketch out a shared future, though it's only been a short while. If you listen to your Stoic instincts, you'd think, hold on, let's take a moment. Are their actions in line with their words? Let's see how this plays out over time. This skepticism serves as a reality check, a grounding tool that prevents you from getting lost in the romance and helps you stay connected to the practical world around you. 
This doesn't mean you interrogate every statement or doubt each step they take, but rather you remain mindful. You listen carefully and observe. Are they consistent? Are their intentions as pure as they seem? Stoics placed great value on logic and reason, believing these should guide our emotional responses particularly in relationships. When we allow our emotions to lead, we risk overlooking clear signs and red flags. However, by integrating a touch of skepticism and a dose of logic, we position ourselves to see the full picture. And remember, this isn't about shielding your heart behind an impenetrable wall. It's about safeguarding it with a clear view of the facts. By doing so, you give yourself the opportunity to truly understand who someone is beyond who you want them to be. Now as you sip your coffee and reflect, consider how adopting this bit of stoic skepticism can serve you. It's about being intelligent in your observations and cautious in your emotional investments. It's not about closing off, but about opening up to people with a discerning eye, ensuring that those you let in are as genuine as they appear. In doing so, you're not just taking care of your heart, you're respecting your self-worth by choosing not to rush blindly into relationships. So, how will you apply this stoic practice in your daily life? Will you rush headlong into the sweet promises, or will you pause, observe, and proceed with a wise heart? This is the essence of stoic skepticism. Not just a strategy for dating, but a lifelong practice to enrich your relationships and protect your well-being. Remember, it's about not just surviving the challenges of love, but thriving within them through a balanced, thoughtful approach. This is your superpower. 8. The Power of No In the philosophy of Stoicism, the concept of self-integrity and the courage to adhere to one's principles are paramount, particularly when it comes to interpersonal relationships. Imagine this. You're involved with someone, and they propose something that just doesn't align with your values. Perhaps it's moving too quickly or something that fundamentally compromises your beliefs. The simplest path might seem to be agreement. But this is the moment your inner stoic should rise to the occasion. The act of saying no is not merely a refusal, but a profound declaration of self-respect, your boundaries, and your unwavering commitment to your values. Think about it. Saying no can be daunting, especially when there's a risk of alienating someone you care about. What if this decision drives them away, you might wonder? Yet, it's in these moments that the true essence of Stoicism illuminates the path to courage. Not only the bravery to confront external challenges, but to face the internal conflicts that stir within us. Seneca once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. Applying this wisdom, understand that saying no might indeed mean losing someone, but if standing by your values distances someone from you, perhaps they were never truly aligned with what's essential in your life. This steadfastness can transform the dynamics of any relationship. When you exhibit the confidence to set boundaries and honor your values, it changes how others perceive you. They see someone who values themselves, who does not merely seek to please others at their own expense. This self-respect can be deeply attractive, fostering a relationship founded not on compromise but on mutual admiration and genuine connection. Moreover, Saying no is a vital part of being truthful with oneself. It involves recognizing your needs and desires in a relationship and refusing to compromise on the essential aspects of your happiness. Stoicism teaches us not to let the fear of solitude push us into decisions that do not serve our best interests. Marcus Aurelius reminded us to be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. This guidance encourages us to maintain our integrity and demand the same level of respect we give. So as you reflect over your morning coffee or during a quiet moment, consider the power of no. How does this simple word help you stay true to yourself? Can you recall a time when saying no might have been difficult, but ultimately led to greater self-respect? How can embracing this aspect of stoicism enhance your relationships and lead you to a more authentic and fulfilling life? In the journey of life, especially within the framework of Stoicism, 
The courage to maintain one's integrity by saying no is not just beneficial, it's essential. It underscores a life lived with purpose and respect, both for oneself and for others. So let us remember that every no we utter in fidelity to our values is not a rejection, but an affirmation of our worth. How will you practice this powerful expression of self-respect today? 9. Never chase. In the theater of life, our actions often speak louder than our words, especially in the realm of personal relationships. This truth is deeply embedded in Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that teaches us the art of living through inner strength and the wisdom to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot. Today, let's delve into a Stoic principle that resonates powerfully when applied to relationships. Never chase. Consider a common scenario, you're involved with someone, and initially everything appears harmonious. However, as time progresses, they begin to distance themselves. The natural impulse might be to close that growing gap, to chase. But Stoicism invites us to pause and reflect. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Applying this to our scenario, we realize that chasing someone is an attempt to control the uncontrollable, which only leads to frustration and emptiness. Chasing after someone who is pulling away can be likened to trying to hold water in your hands. It's futile and leaves you feeling more depleted than before. The Stoic way, however, teaches us to affirm our self-worth and to stand firmly within our own values. If someone drifts away, we let them. This isn't about indifference, rather it's about understanding that our response to their actions is within our control, even if their feelings are not. This concept is challenging. It requires considerable fortitude to resist the urge to pursue approval. Yet it is crucial for maintaining dignity and peace of mind. Stoicism doesn't reduce our worth to how others perceive us, but encourages us to say, I am worthy and if you fail to see that, someone else will. This mindset not only shifts the power back to us, but also liberates us from being at the mercy of others' whims. When you embrace this philosophy, when you focus on your own growth and life rather than on others, something remarkable occurs. You begin to attract individuals who value and are attracted to your strength, confidence, and self-respect. It's as if you're broadcasting a signal. I know my worth. As we wrap up our discussion, let's carry forward this stoic wisdom. Remember, there's no need to chase after anyone. Stay grounded, respect yourself, and concentrate on what you can control. The peace you find won't come from someone else's validation, but from within yourself. This approach doesn't just apply to romantic relationships, but to all interactions and personal endeavors in our lives. Embrace this empowering philosophy and watch how it transforms not only your relationships, but also how you view and interact with the world around you. By understanding and implementing the Stoic way, you signal to the world and to yourself that you are indeed worth it, without ever having to say a word. 10. Embrace calmness and composure. In the Stoic tradition, calmness and composure are not merely virtues. They are powerful tools that can profoundly impact your relationships and how others perceive your worth. Imagine finding yourself in the midst of a heated argument where tempers flare and voices rise, an all-too-common scene in our fast-paced world. While it's natural for some to respond with similar fervor, the Stoic wisdom teaches us the strength of restraint. By choosing to remain tranquil and composed, you not only showcase your resilience, but also your deep respect for both yourself and others involved. Consider calmness in relationships as akin to being an anchor in turbulent waters. In moments when chaos surrounds, your steadfastness and ability to remain poised are not unnoticed. Such behavior not only highlights your emotional intelligence, but also fosters trust and admiration from those around you. People are naturally gravitated towards individuals who can hold their composure because it's a rare and esteemed quality. Furthermore, this stoic approach enhances your clarity of thought, allowing you to make more deliberate and aligned decisions. It's all too easy to get caught up in the moment's intensity, but the philosophy of Stoicism champions the power of pausing, reflecting objectively, and then acting in accordance with your fundamental values. 
Imagine a modern scenario. You're in a critical meeting at work where the discussion takes a contentious turn. Colleagues begin to argue, each trying to shout over the other. In this moment, instead of joining the fray, you take a deep breath, steady your voice, and speak calmly when you have the floor. Your approach not only diffuses the tension, but also positions you as a leader. Observers and participants alike can't help but respect the clarity and respectfulness of your intervention. Now, why do you think maintaining composure can have such a profound impact in both personal and professional settings? Reflect on how your reactions in heated situations might mirror or diverge from the stoic ideal. As we wrap up, remember that embodying calmness and composure isn't just about influencing how others see you. It's a testament to your mastery over self, affirming your worth in silent but powerful terms. In our daily lives, where the pace is quick and conflicts are inevitable, these stoic principles offer not just peace but a path to a respected and impactful presence. Embrace these lessons and watch as they transform not just your interactions, but the very fabric of your daily existence. Increasing personal value enhances life quality. Each of us is born with inherent personal value. However, over time, the comments, expectations, and attitudes of others may alter this natural value. Personal value comprises the beliefs you hold as your life's truths always striving towards them with strong conviction that they serve as a compass guiding you to a better life. Enhancing your personal value can lead to greater happiness, clearer goals, and career development for young people. Therefore, it is crucial to seriously invest in building and improving your personal value. Only those who know how to enhance their value, continue learning, and mature throughout their lives can become invincible in the currents of time. Nine Effective Formulas for Transforming Your Life First, read books to increase your personal value. First and foremost, let's delve into a powerful transformational practice, the habitual reading of books to significantly enhance your personal value. Consider the words of Charlie Munger, a renowned investor who stated, In my life I have yet to meet a wise person who doesn't read incessantly. There's none. You would be surprised to learn how much Warren Buffett reads, and so do I. My children mock me. They think I'm a book with legs. Imagine the vast reservoirs of wisdom and insight that you could tap into just by dedicating time to read. Reading, undoubtedly, is the most effective method to awaken your mind and sharpen your intellect. Each page turned adds a layer of knowledge, and with every book completed, you equip yourself with new skills and an elevated sense of self-assurance. It's about more than just absorbing words. It's about transforming them into internal power, the kind that fills you with confidence and clarity. Consider a moment in modern life where this principle comes vividly to life. Picture Sarah, a young entrepreneur, facing the daunting challenge of pitching her startup idea to potential investors. Overwhelmed and doubting her capabilities, she turns to books on business strategy, personal development, and the biographies of successful entrepreneurs. These aren't just books. They become her mentors, her arsenal in combating the doubts and fears that threaten to derail her dreams. As she reads, her vision sharpens, her confidence builds, and she walks into the meeting room not just prepared, but empowered. Now think about the last time you faced a challenge or felt haste nipping at your heels, urging you to make a rash decision. How did you respond? Books can be your shield against such haste, providing the necessary pause and perspective to navigate the situation more wisely. They are not mere collections of printed words. They are tools, weapons, and shields that equip you to better face life's adversities and uncertainties. So, what will you pick up to read next? How will you allow it to transform you? As you consider these questions, remember the profound impact reading can have on your life, not just in accumulating knowledge, but in fundamentally changing how you think, feel, and act. Let each book you read inspire you to move confidently through life's storms, armed with wisdom and insight. This is the essence of a life transformed by the timeless practice of reading, a journey where each page turned brings you closer to the person you aspire to become. Please comment to let us know which book you love the most and would like to recommend to everyone.
Second, exercise regularly, adding value to health. Imagine you're in the middle of a gripping soccer game where the first half is filled with ambition. Schooling, acquiring power, chasing wealth, and seeking fame. You play hard, pushing your limits, striving to score every goal with all your might. But as the game progresses into the second half, the challenges shift. Now you're dealing with health issues like blood pressure, cholesterol, and possibly more severe ailments. This half isn't about relentless pursuit, but about acceptance and learning to let go. Marcus Aurelius once said, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This wisdom rings especially true as we consider our health and well-being. In our youth, we often push our bodies to the limit, not just in pursuit of personal gains, but to build a future that makes our family proud. However, this endless striving can be as draining as it is rewarding, leaving us as depleted as a wrung-out rag by life's halftime. Now think about this. Is it wiser to spend $1,000 monthly on comprehensive health checks to maintain and monitor your health, or to wait until you are forced to borrow $10,000 for late-stage cancer treatment? The answer seems straightforward, right? We often hear reminders to drink water even when we're not thirsty, to rest even when we don't feel tired, and to exercise regardless of our busy schedules. And yet, it's easy to brush these aside thinking we must keep pushing for passion, for the future, or from the fear of how we'll survive without money. But let me ask you, what could possibly be more crucial than your health? It's your ultimate insurance, your most significant trump card in the game of life. Without health, the wealth and legacy you've built or dream of building can crumble, leaving you with regrets and the question, where did it all go? It's time to start valuing your health as you would any precious asset. Consider every drop of sweat in the gym and every persistent morning run as an investment in your health bank. As Benjamin Franklin aptly put it, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This proactive approach to health will not disappoint you. Rather, it will pay dividends in the quality and longevity of your life. Think of your health as a delicate glass orb, as precious and fragile as it sounds. Once shattered, it's irreparable. So, why wait for the glass to fall? Why not protect it with everything you have now? As you reflect on these thoughts, ask yourself, how can I start adding more value to my health today? What are the small sustainable steps I can take to ensure that the second half of my life is as vibrant and fulfilling as the first? Engaging in regular physical activity is a fantastic starting point. It's more than just a routine. It's a celebration of what your body can do and a commitment to treasure the life you've been given. Now I urge you to pause for a moment. Think about your current health practices and how you might improve them. What does adding value to your health mean to you and how can you make it a non-negotiable part of your daily life? Third, develop good habits. Developing transformative habits is not merely an exercise in repetition. It is the crafting of our very existence. As William James astutely observed, our lives are just a sum of countless habits. Each word spoken, every action repeated, becomes not just a pattern but the very fabric of our lifestyle and our approach towards life itself. Success, therefore, is not an elusive goal but an attainable reality that begins with the smallest of acts. Creating and nurturing personal values is a lifelong endeavor each day offering a new step on this profound journey. Every beneficial habit we foster makes us increasingly comfortable within our own skin, steadily enhancing our personal value. Engaging in positive daily routines such as reading, waking up early for a workout, or consistently addressing others with kindness lays down the stepping stones towards personal growth. These habits serve as the quiet architects of our future selves shaping us subtly but surely into individuals who are not only more competent, but also more compassionate. The power of incremental change was vividly illustrated by Google engineer Matt Cutts during his TED Talk, where he introduced the 30-day challenge plan. Cutts embarked on a transformative journey where he set daily objectives like biking to work, walking 10,000 steps, taking a daily photograph, and dedicating himself to writing a memoir. Concurrently, he eliminated negative habits, cutting out TV, sweets, social media, and caffeine. 
This month-long experiment resulted in not just physical weight loss, but a significant gain in optimism and motivation, underscoring the profound impact of deliberate habit formation. Habits, in essence, are a form of compound interest in the economy of self-improvement. Just as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus advised, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This wisdom highlights the importance of envisioning the version of ourselves we aspire to be, and then methodically building the habits that lead to that transformation. There is no need to wait for a monumental shift, rather. The focus should be on making small, consistent changes. Each incremental improvement is a vital step toward becoming not just a better version of oneself, but the best version. Incorporating famous sayings and stories from both historical and contemporary sources enriches this narrative, weaving together the timeless wisdom of Stoicism with modern-day anecdotes to form a compelling tapestry that resonates with our audience. As we translate these age-old philosophies into the context of contemporary life, we provide listeners not just with strategies but with the inspiration to integrate these lessons into their everyday lives, thereby fostering a more fulfilled and purpose-driven existence. Fourth, valuing time. In a world where every resource can seem scarce, there is one great equalizer, time. Each day, regardless of who you are or where you come from, you're granted 24 hours, 1440 minutes, and 86 400 seconds. How you choose to spend each moment can profoundly shape your life. Consider the story of Fu Sol, the unassuming winner of the ninth season of Wonderful Flowers. When asked about her edge in the competition, Fu simply stated, My advantage is being ordinary. Fu's journey to success wasn't marked by extraordinary beginnings. She was an average person with a family, leading a quiet life. Yet, she harbored dreams of writing, dreams that seemed distant given her everyday commitments. Despite the ordinariness of her life, Fu Sil's extraordinary commitment to her passion set her apart. She invested her scarce free time in pursuit of her dream. Night after night, she read extensively, wrote blogs, and submitted articles to magazines. After a decade of relentless effort, she achieved her goal of becoming a recognized writer. Her story exemplifies a powerful truth voiced by Einstein. The difference between people lies in their leisure time. Leisure time breeds talent as well as idleness, alcoholism, gambling, and fanaticism. It not only distinguishes job performance, but also the levels of life from high to low. So how do you spend your leisure time? Are you like Fu? who channeled her moments into nurturing her dreams, or do you find yourself lost in fleeting pleasures that don't contribute to your long-term aspirations? Each second you spend is a building block for your future. Never underestimate the power of turning even the smallest portion of your day into a step toward achieving something great. Now, imagine a young man, Alex, who works a regular 9-to-5 job, he loves photography and has always wanted to turn this passion into a career, but feels constrained by his time. Inspired by Fusol's story, Alex begins using his lunch breaks and evenings to develop his skills, eventually starting a small online business selling his photographs. Over time, his side hustle begins to attract more attention, allowing him to transition into a full-time photographer. Like Fu, Alex shows us that the judicious use of time can transform our lives in profound ways. How about you? How will the way you use your time today help shape your tomorrow? Could you turn your ordinary into extraordinary? This message is simple, but impactful. Time is your most valuable asset. Don't just pass through life. Live deliberately. When you make your time meaningful, your life becomes meaningful. As you reflect on this, ask yourself what small steps you can take today to use your time more wisely and move closer to your dreams. What will you start doing today to change your life for the better? Fifth, networking with talented people. As we delve into the transformative world of Stoicism, let's consider one of its lesser discussed but equally important aspects, networking with talented individuals. Picture this. You're at the center of a circle, 
surrounded by a network of driven, creative minds. Doesn't that sound empowering? It's crucial to remember that the quality of your network can significantly influence your personal and professional growth. Now, you may have heard the saying, the relationship between people is fundamentally a value exchange. This idea rings especially true when we talk about expanding our connections. It's not about the sheer number of people you know, but rather about how many people find you worth knowing. Reflect on this. When you offer no value, what basis is there for meaningful connections? True networking isn't merely about flattery or superficial interactions. It's about mutual attraction and respect. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once noted, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. This principle is vital when fostering significant relationships. Without solid skills or commendable traits, gaining real recognition and support from notable individuals is unlikely. However, when you are outstanding or good enough, people naturally gravitate towards you. They come not because you ask them to, but because they see value in associating with you. So why spend your time and energy on meaningless social interactions? Wouldn't it be better to invest in strengthening yourself? When you enhance your abilities and become truly useful, your connections automatically become more substantial. When you are valuable, your network reflects that value. Consider the wisdom hidden in an ancient Greek fable that poses a thought-provoking question. Can a single coin make a person rich? At first glance, the answer might seem like a straightforward no. But what if you added one more coin, then another, day by day? Similarly, the gap between individuals in terms of their network's value doesn't widen overnight. It expands gradually through consistent effort and incremental improvement over days, months, or even years. Now think about this. How are you contributing to your network right now? Are you adding value or are you merely occupying space? Remember, every small action or improvement you make can be like those coins, insignificant on their own but cumulatively powerful. Engaging with talented individuals isn't just about seeking opportunities. It's about creating them. By being a person of value, you attract others who are equally driven to excel. This symbiotic exchange of value can propel you towards personal and professional achievements that were once beyond reach. So, as you move forward, ask yourself, are you ready to transform not only your life, but also the lives of those around you through the power of a valuable network? How will you start this journey today to ensure that each interaction you have enriches both your life and that of others? Engage with this concept, ponder upon it, and let it guide you toward a richer, more connected existence. Sixth, knowing when to be silent and listen. In our journey through life, it is essential to recognize the power of silence and the profound impact of listening, particularly when steering through the uncharted waters of our careers and personal growth. This lesson, one of the nine effective formulas for transforming your life through Stoicism, resonates deeply with the Stoic principle of knowing when to speak and when to hold back underscoring the importance of humility and openness to learning. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once advised, be silent for the most part, or if you speak, say only what is necessary and in a few words. This poignant reflection mirrors the necessity of embracing silence, especially in a professional setting. In every job, there are aspects and intricacies we may not fully grasp. This gap in our understanding presents a golden opportunity to learn from those who have walked the path before us. Consider the value of finding a mentor at work, someone seasoned and experienced who can illuminate aspects of your role and industry that you've yet to consider. A mentor does not just fill our heads with knowledge but opens our eyes to new perspectives and challenges our preconceived notions. It's a common misconception to believe we are sufficiently equipped with all the knowledge we need. In reality, the wise man knows he knows nothing about the vast seas he has yet to navigate. This humility allows us to truly listen, not just hear, to the wisdom imparted by others. Listening is an art that requires us to engage fully, to understand and integrate this new knowledge into our lives. 
In the process, we transform not only our professional selves, but our personal identities as well. It is in the moments of quiet reflection that the lessons learned take root, allowing for profound personal growth. Moreover, in today's fast-paced world, where information is abundant and attention spans are short, the ability to be silent and listen is more valuable than ever. It sets the stage for deeper relationships, enhanced understanding, and ultimately, more meaningful achievements. As Epictetus, another Stoic luminary, remarked, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This sage advice highlights the importance of listening as a pathway to knowledge and wisdom. In sum, the act of being silent and listening is not merely a passive state, but an active pursuit of growth. It is through this practice that we can truly transform our lives, drawing on the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to navigate the complexities of modern existence. So, let us embrace the quiet, listen intently, and allow the voices of experience to guide us toward a more enlightened path. Remember, in the silence lies the sound of your personal transformation. Seventh, continuously learning new knowledge. In our journey through life, embracing the power of continuous learning stands as a fundamental pillar, not just for self-improvement, but for transforming our very existence. Continue learning, keep learning, goes the timeless advice transcending the barriers of age. This truth holds that learning is a lifelong endeavor. From our youth through to old age, there is always new knowledge to uncover and new skills to master, especially about topics we once knew little about. The pursuit of knowledge enables us to shift our perspectives, to distinguish ourselves, and to garner respect and admiration from those around us. Consider the young entrepreneur who opts to invest in their intellectual growth over immediate financial gain. As they blend this knowledge with real world experience, they not only enhance their personal value, but also lay a robust foundation for financial success born from wisdom and expertise, not mere chance. In today's digital age, the excuse of lacking resources to learn holds little weight. The wealth of knowledge available on the internet, combined with the insights that can be gleaned from mentors and colleagues, provides an unprecedented opportunity to learn and grow. It's about harnessing the right mindset and the dedication to see your educational pursuits through to their fruition. Imagine a young professional, Alex, who landed a modest role at a tech startup. Instead of spending evenings and weekends chasing leisure, Alex chose to dive deep into online courses in coding and market analysis, often engaging with more experienced colleagues to deepen understanding. Two years down the line, Armed with cutting-edge skills and a comprehensive understanding of market needs, Alex proposed a new product that eventually became the cornerstone of the company's success. This story isn't just about individual achievement, but underscores how continuous learning can lead to transformative contributions that resonate across a broader spectrum. Now think about your own life. What have you been curious about lately and what steps can you take to learn more about it? How might this new knowledge reshape your understanding or the path you're currently on? As we wrap up, remember that the essence of learning extends beyond personal enrichment. It's about uplifting others as well. Every piece of knowledge acquired and every skill developed not only enhances your own life, but also equips you to contribute to the community in meaningful ways. So challenge yourself to keep learning and growing. Your efforts will not only be recognized but celebrated. This relentless pursuit of knowledge is not just about finding success. It's about creating a life of value and purpose. Eighth, cultivating emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, or EI, serves as a foundational pillar for anyone aiming to transform their life using principles from Stoicism. It's the capacity to identify, govern, and assess emotions in both yourself and others. Imagine how mastering this skill could revolutionize your interactions, resolve disputes with grace, and forge robust, meaningful relationships across all areas of your life. Consider empathy, one of EI's core components. Empathy is not just about understanding others' emotions, it's about truly sharing them, feeling what they feel. This deep connection is vital for effective communication and collaboration. 
It's like stepping into someone else's shoes, not just to see their viewpoint, but to walk their path. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I'm about to criticize? This reflection fosters empathy and heightens our emotional intelligence. Then, there's self-awareness, which involves recognizing your own emotional states and understanding how they influence your thoughts and actions. This self-knowledge is a superpower in managing stress and making thoughtful decisions, especially in trying circumstances. How often do you pause to consider the root of your emotions and their impact on your decisions? Self-regulation is another critical aspect of EI. It allows you to control your emotions and impulses, ensuring you can pause and choose how to respond to different situations rather than reacting on impulse. This skill is particularly aligned with Stoic principles, emphasizing control over one's internal state and responses to external events. By enhancing your emotional intelligence, you equip yourself to handle the intricacies of personal and professional relationships with finesse and assurance. It elevates your personal worth and enriches your life's quality. How might increasing your emotional intelligence change your relationships and professional life? Engaging with these ideas, one cannot help but see the transformative power of emotional intelligence. As we navigate the complexities of human emotions and relationships, we realize the strength in calm and measured responses. How will you start integrating these practices into your daily life to experience this profound change? Ninth, mastering financial literacy. Financial literacy isn't just a skill. It's an essential pillar of a well-rounded life, particularly for men navigating the prime years of their careers and familial responsibilities. Understanding how money operates within our world, and more importantly, within our personal lives, empowers us to make informed decisions that can dramatically transform our existence. It's about far more than just balancing a checkbook. It's about securing your future and leveraging your current resources to cultivate stability and prosperity. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher, once said, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This principle resonates deeply with financial literacy, as it begins with the mindset that you are the master of your finances, not a victim of circumstances. Managing finances effectively requires comprehensive knowledge and the confidence to apply that knowledge wisely. It's about earning, saving, investing, and even giving, each aspect weaving into the next to form a robust financial tapestry. Budgeting stands as the cornerstone of this philosophy. It teaches us the discipline of tracking every dollar, ensuring that spending aligns with our long-term visions rather than fleeting desires. This mindful approach to money prevents wasteful expenditures and aids in setting aside funds for future aspirations, be it retirement, your children's education, or even a dream vacation. Like Seneca observed, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Budgeting helps mitigate that craving by clarifying what you truly value. Investment, then, is the natural progression from budgeting. Here the focus shifts from saving money to growing it. The modern marketplace offers myriad avenues for investments, stocks, bonds, real estate, and more, each with its own risks and rewards. Diversifying one's portfolio is akin to the stoic practice of preparing for multiple futures, understanding that not all endeavors will succeed but that overall growth is achievable with careful planning. However, a critical yet often overlooked aspect of financial literacy is understanding the mechanics of debt, credit, and interest rates. Knowledge in these areas enables one to avoid the pitfalls of over-leveraging, which can lead to a vicious cycle of debt. Here the wisdom of Epictetus is pertinent. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. By mastering the complex dynamics of credit, one can preserve their wealth and avoid the bondage of financial strain. This holistic approach to financial literacy not only increases one's personal value, but also enhances life quality by fostering security and independence. In an era where economic uncertainty can seem like the norm, 
Possessing the skills to navigate the financial landscape with agility and foresight is invaluable. Thus, as you strive to transform your life through stoicism and practical wisdom, remember that mastering your finances is not just a task, but a transformative journey that shapes the very foundation of your happiness and legacy. As we wrap up today's journey on how to show your loved one your worth without saying a word, and the nine effective formulas for transforming your life, I want to leave you with a thought to carry into your day-to-day -day experiences. Remember, the subtle art of conveying your value and the steps to personal transformation we discussed are not just concepts, but practical tools that can lead to profound changes in your life. They can enhance your relationships, boost your self-esteem, and contribute to your overall happiness now. I encourage you to not just keep these insights to yourself, share them with someone you care about, discuss them, see how you can support each other, and grow together. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What resonated with you the most? Do you have any personal stories or additional tips to share? Your engagement helps us all grow and learn from each other, so don't hesitate to comment and share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Stoic in Your Life for more content that helps you navigate life's challenges with wisdom and courage. Together, let's make every day a stepping stone to a more fulfilled and joyful life. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep striving, keep growing.